How's it going, Airsofters? I hope you've all had a great week. This week, the guys over at GBLS UK have sent me their GDR15 DAS. It's said by many to be the most advanced and most realistic AEG on the market right now. The GDR15 is straight out of the box, not been used yet, and I'm unboxing here with my buddies to get their opinions and first impressions of what they think of it. Two pins. Yeah, no, really nice when I shot them at the airsoft festival. Felt nice anyway, but... First pin in. Yeah, that just snaps down now. That's what it looked like. Look, yeah, there. your pin in. There you go. So we're there. Magic. Easy as Booty. Okay, I'll teach you how to remove the plastic. Thanks, man. But are the mags? The mags are like gas blowback mags. They don't look very... How many mags they give you? Four. Oh, it's quite quality, don't they? They're off, they're off in colour. Realistic. Are they 70 quid? 68 or something, I think. Per mag? I think so. They are lucky, mate. They don't look right there, to me. Where does the battery go? Say it, man. It's for the camera. Say it, what do you think about it? Yeah, it's really nice. I would really like one. I think it looks really plastic. These dasses are great. It's supposed to be the most realistic, most advanced AEG on the market at the moment. I do like the rail. I, I do like, like it, it, yeah. It's got all, lots of PTS parts on it to stock. The rail, I think, is a PTS rail. Has it got a battery in it? No. Does the battery go in the stock? Yeah, it just goes in the stock like a normal... Why to Dean's a standard? Yeah. And it, I've been told to run it on an 11.1 volt as well. Can you not cop that? Yeah. You can? Yeah. Pull it back. Yeah, it's all Spars realistic. Can. Let's take a moment to appreciate just how beautiful this thing is. The manual states that you're supposed to remove a couple of BBs from the magazine after you finish loading it. This is to prevent any jamming issues. It's time to get it on the chrono to make sure it meets sight limits. I'm using Jet's 0.28 gram BBs, so the DAS must get under 296 FPS to pass sight limits. 286, 292, 292. I'm going to let my airsoft buddies have a close up look and a shoot of it and let's hear what they have to say about it. Yeah. Yeah. So it, should be, it should be ready to go now, yeah. Is it safe? Oh, it's horrible trigger, isn't it? Put it on full auto. I'm not sure. What is it about it? The clanging. I just think the TM's nicer. Fire with a spectre in it. And Probably this one. Yeah, probably isn't, isn't the trigger pull really hard? On it? It's not too bad. I don't mind. You might hear people mention that they don't like the trigger on the DAS. Well, I quite liked it, and I'm used to a TM recoil with a Spectre MOSFET trigger unit. I had no trouble getting shots off in semi with the DAS, and I really quite liked the feel of it. What do you think, sir? Yeah, I like the feel. And he went, that's my camera. I went, I don't want to get used to it. No. Operator. No. Oh, what? Do semi? Yeah. Safe. Put it, put it harder. Put it harder. I am fucking pulling it. We broke it already, Tom. I broke it. He charged it. Didn't need to, I didn't change my mind on it. This is the problem I kept having with it. Lock it up, put it onto full. No, the trigger's just dead. That's what kept happening. I didn't break it. Well, you were the last one to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there. Are you sure? See, I, I, it's going to take some getting used to, I guess, because. No, put it on full auto. It's it actually sounds louder. It's when you're firing it, it sounds than it does fun. the other like EBB to me. Like, you know, the, you know the ones with the, the other scar recoil? Yeah. When it comes back, 
Yeah. Sounds like that to me. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. It seems like kind of Yeah, no worries, yeah. It's not bad, isn't it? It's, it's quite straight. It's just CCB, I think that'd be fine, wouldn't it? Yeah. People would be scared of it as well, wouldn't they? The noise of it on full auto is just ridiculous. Oh, I think you need a, yep, another. There you go. Let's have a, yeah, no, have a go at back. a tall assist and shit like that and whatever you're doing. It's more satisfying than a recall. Yeah. Hey, whoa, whoa. Yeah, <laughs> don't be like that. Whoa, whoa. Don't be like that. I think it is. Whoa. It is, yeah. Yeah, I like the feeling. I agree, it's a lot more satisfying. I do find it. It's a lot louder than it is the other end. Yeah. I know what you mean. See. It's again. Yep. I'll go to the mag up, sir. So we can cock another one into the round. There you go. Yeah. It's odd, isn't it? So you've probably get used to that. Now, me being new to it today, yeah. it's like shit, it's jam. Yeah, yeah. What course. do I do? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Well, it's kind of like a firearm, isn't it? You either hit the forward assist or you rack it as hard as you can. The jamming issue didn't stop there. It persisted throughout the whole morning. As far as I know, I was doing everything by the book. I was using decent quality BBs and I was using a fully charged 11.1 volt battery. It was beyond me as to what I was doing wrong. Whether there was a problem with the gun or the mags, I am unsure. When the DAS was working, it was lovely. The kick you got from the recoil was like something I've never experienced with an AEG. The range was well above par for most AEGs and the accuracy was great. Just a shame I kept getting so many jams. In this clip the enemy are getting closer and closer and there's just nothing I can do to take them out. With some more fiddling the DAS springs into life and I can finally take out the enemy. What have I done? Just yeah. jammed. No, just chuck it. Jammed again. Jammed again. I finally gave up with the DAS and decided to use something a little more effective. Yes! Okay. <laughs> when I got home, I googled the issue to see if anybody else had the same problem that I had with the jamming. I couldn't find anything at all. So whether I was unlucky and got a defective gun, mags, or maybe I'm just retarded and couldn't use it properly, but I'm hoping it was the former. Well, my love for the DAS was soon outweighed by frustration with it. So in the afternoon, I had to get out my Scorpion Evo for some reliable gameplay, because I wasn't gonna pass up the opportunity to play at this awesome field. Three, two, one, go! We've got one in there, have we? Yeah. Shot, well done. <laughs> there he is. Chair, chair.
That right, watch that side. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's basically like FPS, except better graphics.